Gazing the backs of Rikamiori walking up ahead of me, and I had a deep sigh. This was supposed to be my chance. A few days after receiving advice, a perfect chance has come in the form of, of orienteering day. No, not has come, but rather had come. Orienteering in a free party amity groups. As Miyori had said before, the Academy's orienteering is a real thing. They gathered us in the auditorium, gave us maps, and then we were randomly assigned to three different locations. The first checkpoint was not very far. The second checkpoint, which everyone must pass through, had members from the Council of Nikea. They gave us a simple quiz relating to numbers, the answer which was used to guide us to a final destination, and then back to the Academy. We couldn't dawdle since there was a time limit, but the beautiful scenery would have made up for a nice hike. I'd thought stepping into the wilderness with my amity partners would bring us together, making it easier to approach a topic. But... Millie's attitude was the same as ever, there was no way I could bring it up. Maintaining my casual hands-off policy, trying not to be too natural that Ricky didn't notice. And I tried to say something before we finished all rounding all checkpoints. In the end, we got through all of them without me saying much of anything. Let out another deep sigh. I feel pathetic for being capable of doing anything despite the classman's encouragement. I have this chance, but I made no progress. Suo-san, Suo you're right. Uh, oh, 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 yes. I have to go take a roll call to make sure everyone got back. Perhaps she's been asked to do it as a class president. Ask if I should go with her. That's fine, it won't take too much time. What are you going to do? You head to the water station, you'll be near campus. Uh, you're, you're right. She glanced at me awkward as I feel tightening up in my chest. I don't think I can stand being alone right now. Suo? I'll, I'll, I'll think I'll go pick some flowers. Okay. How about you, Miyuri san? I'll head to the water station. I'm parched. Alright. When we finish, let's meet back together. Rika waves her hand cheerfully and heads back to the auditorium. I watch her leave. Seeing a glance at me, or you like me, seems to be somewhat relieved. After getting back to my bathroom, I glaze blankly outside with colourless eyes. It's still early. The restroom had not been as crowded as I thought it would be. I was able to do my business without having to wait. I need to head to a meeting place, but... I don't want to bother Miyori-san. Rika said a roll call wouldn't take long, but there's no way she would have finished faster than me and Miyori, who had went to a water station. If I went now, I'd have to wait alone with Miyori until Rika returns. I don't want to run away again. Even though the other classman had encouraged me. I can't bring it up. I'm a coward. I can't go on like this. I feel frustration building up. I don't know what to say. A sense of unbelonging swells in my chest, threatening to push its way up to my throat. Suddenly, I hear a sound of water and look up. Drops of water are splatting on my window pane. It's raining. Raindrops patter against the glass. In no time at all, it's turned into a downpour, pounding against the window. This is a good excuse to be late. This pessimistic thought enters my head as I feel relief in my heart as I watch students running to escape the rain from the hall window. Always looking for excuses, eh? I wait for the rain to let up. Even when the downpour is back to a sprinkle, I wait for the rain to completely stop. Then I take my time as I head back to a meeting spot. I'm relieved when I see Rika there taking my time meant I avoid having to be alone with Mayori, however. Mary's not here. She stands alone at the meeting spot, looking bored. No, she's following her brow, looking for my word. Ah, uh, Suo, I'm glad you're here. She looks relieved to see me and trots over. Her panicked attitude is she like slightly catches up hold of my arms. It gives me a bad feeling. Miss Kosaka, -san. she's not back yet. About that, that's a bit of a problem. What I'm right about this bad feeling as I watch the face cloud over again. I went to do roll call in the auditorium and I heard that Sasaki has haven't returned yet. I see. I'm sure it's normal that people wouldn't be late. The Sasaki is probably just playing around and end up late. 
But then with that downpour, so I was going to be worried and maybe we should go look for him. Oh. This doesn't sound good. There was a member of a council who came a horse west and watched the last checkpoint of Sarkis would see that was. It was a checkpoint with a quiz. She wasn't one who gave a quiz, but she was next to him and never heard a question. It was really easy, so there was no mistaking it. I got the answer number from her, and I was going to the location, but... I take out my map and I'm not giving it back. Checkpoint 13, there. See, so look at the map. There's a creek which would be dangerous in a downpour, so I wanted to go. Did Kosaka go? Yeah. She said it would take too long if everyone went, and since it was a good walker, she would do it. So she went on ahead, but... She trails off again, I can tell what comes next. Dramas and novels usually go this way. Is now double trouble? Yeah, well, no, not double. The Sasaki twins came back after a rain attack, but Mayuri-san hasn't. I was hiding from reality. Checkpoint 13 was far, so some teachers went to look for her, but I couldn't find her. They said she could have slipped and fallen into a creek. Well, I'm almost panicked enough to rush off for this instant. Seeing Rika nearly in tears, it makes me realise I need to keep my cool for her sake. And I force myself to remain calm. It's okay, Rika san. The teachers are looking for her, they're sure to find her soon. Perhaps she was sheltering from rain under a tree, and that's why we couldn't find her. But it's already been a while since the rain stopped. She should have been back by now. That's true. When I spread out the map and look at checkpoint 13, it's not even a, even a kilometre from campus. No matter how muddy it was, there's no reason Mayuri shouldn't have returned. Could she really fall into a creek? She's a responsible person, perhaps in searching for Sasaki's. She got on too close to a creek and lost her footing. There's no use of thinking the worst case scenarios. Suo-san, I think what I can do right now. I inadvertently think about eccentric but reliable upperclassmen. One I had a chance to encounter after running away with a choir club. I recall how she said even the competent counsellor and the KM members feel regret for our past failures and mistakes. Yes, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone? Suo san! Should we go look for two? I was sorry to wait here, but. You're right. Let's go look for her. But I can ask you a question. What is it? You said a member of the Council of Nikaya told you about the last checkpoint, but they were not the one giving him a quiz, right? Yes. She said she never heard it because she was nearby. So, who is the person who made the questions? For a moment, Sirius Rika looks like he's about to snap at me for asking a pointless question. Was it Kamikado Senpai? For a moment, Sirius Rika looks like she's about to snap at me for asking pointless questions. So, yes, but how did you know? I knew it. I'd guessed it from checkpoint 13. The quiz is supposed to be very easy. And Venra was number 13. The question was probably about taboo numbers. If Kamikado was the one who made a question, I'm on the right track. I first need to know something about Kamikado. I know where Kamikado is from. Yes, that's it. I heard from Riko how Kamikado tried to have a guess from where she was from in the form of a quiz. The question was, which country has the most Christians? That would be... I heard from Rika how Kamikado tried to have a guess what she was from in form of quiz. 
It's not about the time. Does America have got most Christians? And um, the tab over that number is thirteen. It is thirteen, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's thirteen. I mean, it's not four because I'm pretty sure four is either China or Japan. Seventeen is definitely a, a taboo number in Formula One. Plus thirteen, to be honest, but not as much so anymore. Yeah, isn't it thirteen? I'm going to find Kosaka-san. The teacher's looking for her. I acknowledge, but I don't think you on. Perhaps the teachers will bring her back, so you wait here. I'll go look. Riga hesitates, but at least tells me to take care. I nod for her head of the forest. It is still dripping from the rain. I search for hours. When night begins to fall, I return to a campus and hear what Miyori has been found. It was not as Riga had feared, but she had fallen into a stream. But nevertheless, Miyuri had sprained a leg and unable to move, had spent hours in the rain waiting to be rescued. She had caught a cold so terrible she had to be hospitalised. She was in hospital for five days and had come back to our academy once her condition had improved, but. <laughs> Concentrate. Riku is standing next to me. Reprimanded me during morning prayers as my eyes wander towards Mayuri. I'm sorry. All this time. Seems like you've been worrying about it all this time, so I'll say it again. Your judgment during orientating wasn't wrong. It's her fault she's been so stubborn. Her words are bitter. Yet there is sadness in her eyes as she gazes at Mayuri. What happened to her? Although she'd never been to a type to cause a big fuss, Moyu would still naturally become the heart of her class. She still always charmed her classmates with a smile, like a sunny spring day, but now... She's changed. Since returning to the academy after her hospitalisation, she's built a wall around herself that no one can penetrate. Her warm smile faded and the people around her with it. And now there's only a few people who would talk to her. If you've only been able to find me, you always stand back then. I feel like the outcome will be very different from now. Kosaka san. As I continue staring at her lonely back. La joue est fine. But answer those questions correctly. We did learn early on that America does have the most Christians. And 13 is the unlucky number in America. Unless I'm mistaken. I know it's not 4 because that's a red herring. I don't know why it would be 17 or 9. Oh well. Join me next time when I restart from that save again. I'll fast forward to the point where 
where you left off. The choice. Well, hopefully we'll find my Yori. Hi. 